Hey boys and girls, LexicalFiggy here, and I still cannot play Battlefield 3 for some reason, I will try to get it sorted out, but for now you can watch some Far Cry 3 gameplay, which the game's absolutely amazing, I would definitely suggest you getting it or playing it if you haven't already. It's absolutely fantastic, I'm loving it, I think I've already played like 30 hours or so, but yeah, and um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about consoles versus the PC, since in my last um, Console Wars video, um, lots of people were just spamming PC hashtag Master Race. And yeah, there's there are pros and cons to everything. I just want to go over some stuff. Again, um, before I get started, I want uh, all the fanboys to shut up, please. But <laughs> just um, from my point of view, I own a gaming PC right now. I got a PlayStation 3 back there, as well as an Xbox 360. I also own a PlayStation 1 and 2. I've had another gaming PC a little while ago, so um, I've had my experiences and I'm just going to share my opinion with you guys. If you have some other experiences or opinions on the topic as well, um, you can just leave your comment in the comment section down below and tell me about it. But yeah, um, let's get this going. I think one of the biggest points is when people are like deciding between console or PC or if they should make the switch or something. First thing would probably be and it's not the graphics, but the price. So, um, the the good thing about consoles is that they're normally cheaper. I mean, right now, um, the next-gen consoles are coming out, and they're um, 400 and 500, and for 500, you can already get a mid-range PC, so that's a little bit much, but, for example, I think PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 at the moment, they cost about 200 bucks, which is a lot less, and you cannot get a PC to game on. So this is one of the big um, pros for console. They're quite a lot cheaper. Right now, if you want to make the Switch, um, I mean the um, the new next-gen consoles will handle it a lot better. Um, another good thing about consoles is also that they last a lot longer because um, they have a, like a lot longer um, life cycle and lifespan, which is um, pretty good. And um, for that you don't have to, to upgrade that often, um, as for example with a PC, which yet again could be um, regarded as a positive thing because a PC gets outdated rather quickly, maybe after two years, and, but then you don't have like to throw it away, you can just upgrade it, get a new graphics card, get a new CPU or something, and you're good to go again. And this is, well, this is something you have to decide for yourself, basically, I mean, there, this is a point where it's really for lasting, I mean, PC lasts, they, they're not lasting as long because they're not that optimized, because you can have like your own parts, it's more customizable and stuff, and you can upgrade it. But um, in the end, you'll probably have to pay more money for it, especially if you want to get a good gaming PC for like I don't know, 800 bucks or so, where you can crank up all the stuff to to high or even ultra at 1080p, and also have anti-aliasing, which is a, <laughs> a no thing for consoles. But uh, let's keep on going. And another real quick thing I want to touch on would be the community, and just from my point of view, I think personally that the um, PC community is a little bit more like the hardcore gamers. They're a little bit more mature um, I mean it's obvious that normal um, more more little kids are playing console I mean that's, that's just how it is I mean consoles also have a bigger market share on the whole gaming thing and that's just like um, if you're a parent you're much rather like going to buy your kid a, a console and you can like see what you're playing in the living room and they don't have like internet that's like another thing when you get a PC and um, the, the internet like um, Parents don't want like their kids to get around in the internet like all the way. At least that's how it was when like ten years ago when I got my first PC. So I think um, there are a little bit more kiddies in the community. Again, I don't say that there are no kiddies in the um, PC community or that there are no hardcore gamers on the console side. But just if you're thinking percentage and the, the main thing, that's how it is. Then another really quick thing and um, which I really like about PC gaming would be um, the modding. So I think the only thing you can get on um, console would be um, something like DLCs. And modding is a really big thing on PC. You can mod your own levels, your your own weapons, your own texture packs. For example, games like Skyrim, they have like whole new worlds and like modded DLCs which are for free. And this is something which is really amazing. Just I mean, for, for a PC gamer this is something pretty obvious. For a console gamer it's not that much. So. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's kind of into um, you know it or you don't. That's that's just how it is. So um, then the price for games, um, PC games are cheaper. I mean, if you're looking at console, they're normally sixty bucks. 
if PC games get released, they can be 60 bucks as well if, if you pre-order them or something. But normally they're lo uh, lower. Also, if you're on Steam, there are lots of sales, like weekend Skyrim 70% off. You can get it for 20 bucks or so, which is pretty good. Although it is um, linked to your Steam account then, which is kind of has pros because you can play it from um, all PCs if you're logging in with your account. Um, again, console games are more expensive, but you can resell them. You can share them with friends more easily. And that's, I think, a plus and a con or pro and account for both console and PC. Then again, the controls. I mean, it's pretty obvious controller versus mouse and keyboard. And personally, for shooters, I definitely prefer mouse and keyboard. And that's also what you're going to be more accurate with. And it's not necessarily easier because it takes all skill to master it because everyone else is using it. I don't want to hear anyone saying like, it's so much easy, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. Everyone is using it. Fair situation again. So, um, yeah, so much for I, I might do another commentary on that whole mm, control versus mouse keyboard thing again, but yeah, for for sure I prefer that. However, for stuff like for example Uncharted or Devil May Cry and Trials or racing games in general, I prefer a control. It's much more comfortable. Um, some people just want a control because they can sit on the couch and well, you can also like I don't know, you can hook up your Xbox controller to your PC or you can use like wireless mouse and keyboard. So uh, this kind of comment is invalid for me but yeah it's, it comes down to personal preference but um controls are really limiting you in first person shooters because you're just more accurate with mouse just like the, the skill cap is isn't as high so next thing would be um uh the the price for online gaming and it's pretty simple pc is free and you have to pay five bucks a month for um playstation network and xbox live not for the PlayStation Network right now, but for the PS4 you will have to pay um, because you will have to have PlayStation Plus in order to play co-op and multiplayer games online. Then um, if we're talking about online stuff and mainly multiplayer since this is what my channel is really focusing on, um, most consoles only have matchmaking and PC mainly has dedicated servers, which is like huge or like worlds in between. Like I think a normal... <sighs> Lots of people are playing on the console with matchmaking. I think like normal ping is above 100 and On PC you can get pings like 20 which is like almost non-existent. It's really snap and it's there and it's pretty cool Again, um, I want to touch some more PC stuff because PC is just kind of bigger It's more customizable. You don't have like enough space pump in like another hard drive You want more power more frames just pump in another graphics card it's it's just that easy and it's, it's pretty cool that you can upgrade it again. It's like a, a two-sided sword because some people are like favoring that, some are not, so it's kind of hard to decide or like get a take on it. Now for the thing which I've mentioned in the beginning, which would be graphics. And yeah, graphics on PC, PC just wins and not only in the graphics because they're looking better, but also in the frame rate because if you if you're playing most games on 30 FPS and you're playing f on 60 FPS for a while, I can assure you, you cannot go back. <laughs> like, I mean, you w you want to have those 60 frames. The the fluidity is like you, you can't even compare it. And no, the human eye can't see more than 24 or 30 frames Th because the human eye doesn't work in frames. It's it can actually see unlimited like in real life. You, you you can notice the difference between 30 frames, 60 frames, 120 and even like, I don't know, 900. You notice the difference with your eyes. And I know if, if you're only playing at 30 FPS ever, it might take you like one or two days in, in order to, to really realize it. If you're like that much used to it, but you, you can see a lot more than 30 FPS. Because that's not like, your eyes aren't kept at 30 FPS, that's not how it works. Also, um, for the last thing, it's a lot easier to get updates and patches on the PC just quick and out, but um, again, if they're like big AAA titles, they normally pump them out simultaneously for everything, so um, PC normally has to wait for consoles. And yeah, I mean, that's like one of, one of the other things that m many PC gamers have something about console players is because PC gaming is always there at the top. I mean, it has its price and 
it's it just gets limited by the consoles and it's like which m many people are annoyed by because they are always waiting for next gen console so that the developers can like pump out new stuff again get better crank it up higher because pc gamers are always looking for that i don't know like get this e the, the the extra frames get the, the better graphics and i don't know build your pc upgrade and stuff and i think um you would you would have to to be on both sides and you would have to had a console and a PC you would have to um, would have to kind of learn to to appreciate both parts of them to kind of understand the whole aspect um, to both of them and yeah personally I don't really want to answer the question which one is better uh, better I mean obviously PC is uh, <laughs> hashtag master race but it has its price and Console has its plus sides too, and I mean, some games I want to play on console, some games I want to play on PC, and that's just how it is. Again, um, all <laughs> I have to say I'm favoriting my shooters on PC, because if you haven't tried out mouse and keyboard, you should definitely do that. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and like, go fuck her out.